Hello everyone, Konnichiwa, it's Kei. In this video part 2 of Moving Average series, I will talk about how, like how you can actually find the trading signals on the market by this Moving Average indicator. Like I mentioned on the part 1 on this Monday, Moving Average gives you three basic information, a trend direction, a strength of the trend, and the break even point of the market. And in this video part 2, I will touch on how, like how you can visually see the trend direction and its strength, and how you can actually take trades by that. If you haven't watched the previous part 1, I recommend you to watch it first and come back to this video too, because I was talking about some basic concepts that you should know before watching this video. So before starting, if you are already excited to see this part 2, please press the good button and let's get started right now. Alright, so first of all, take a look at this. This shows you the basic information of what gold cross, dead cross, and perfect orders, and also the angles are on moving average. Let me explain step by step here. The gold cross happens when the short term MA crosses the long term MA uppers. Uh, remember, short term means like 10 or 20 period, and long term means 200 period for its setting. So, gold cross is happening when 10 or 20 MA crosses the 200 MA uppers. In contrast, dead cross happens when the short term crosses the long term downwards. And perfect order is when all the three moving averages, short term, mid term, and long term moving averages point towards the same direction. Like uh, when the market is in a range, you will see all the MAs are interacting with each other, but when there is a concrete trend in the market, let's say a bull trend, then all the MAs are aligned like short, mid, and long term from the candlesticks and point towards the upside. And also, how you can identify the strength of that market is by looking at the angle of the MA. Like when the angle is steep, then that means the trend, trend is strong. And when it's like slightly going up, that means the trend is not so strong. So depending on the angle of the moving average, you know exactly how strong the market is moving at that time. Now let me teach you one strategy here. Look at this chart here. This is just to give you an idea of how the market moves and breaks it after the consolidation uh, without moving average this time first. But let's say you look at the candles like this in bigger time frame on the left, uh, like daily chart. And if you take a closer look at it in 5 minute time frame, you might see a chart like this on the right side. So in daily chart on the left, previously the market kept going down and on the blue candlestick, you can see that the market went into a range for a day. And when you zoom in here, actually it looks like this on the right, here on a 5 minute time frame. You know, the market goes up and down for a day here. And after some time, the market breaks the range downwards and keeps its bearish momentum. So the market previously went down, created a range for some time, and then it broke it downwards and keeps its bearish momentum by following the major bearish momentum. So basically, this range was the consolidation to prepare for the continuous downtrend. And if you have noticed, the daily chart shows the engulfing candle pattern that I talked about in price action part 5, you know? And this candle pattern is one of the indications that the price to keep going down. And how you can trade by this moving average and how you can trade by using moving average is when it breaks it out in 5 minute chart, you wait. You wait for the perfect order in moving average. Now let me show you that from a real chart example. Here we go. This is a daily chart on gold and if you look at the market, previously the market was in the range and if you look at the MAs, they are all interacting with the candles. The yellow line is 20 MA, blue one is 75 EMA, and red line is 200 EMA. But look how they are all like scrambled together. This is a signal that the market is in a range based on this daily chart, and that means 
you better not to trade based on the moving averages. You better use other different tools or strategies like price actions or uh, you better look at lower time frame charts and look for the trade chain, you see? Um, anyways, what I want to say here is that basically when the market is in the range, all the moving averages tend to interact with each other. However, look at this day. On this day, the yellow 20 EMA gold crossed the blue 75 EMA and after the price broke out the range here, the market kept going up. And when it does, if you look at the MAs, all the MAs are aligned beautifully from short term, mid term and long term, um, just like a rainbow. And this is called the perfect order when you see all the moving averages are aligned to the same direction. And so when it's bearish, all the moving averages are aligned to the downside. And if you look at it on this first vertical line, looks like all the MAs got perfect order to the downside, right? Like candlesticks, short term, mid term, and long term are all aligned beautifully in order to the downside. So you think, oh, it's a sell signal. And you place a sell here, let's say, but the market keeps going up afterwards and you get lost here. How about the next one? When you see the perfect order here again, and when you place a sell, and this time, fortunately, you get some profit. And how about the next one? When you see the perfect order here and place a buy here, what happened next? The price level has moved all the way down and you are still having a loss until now. So as you can see here, you cannot trade just because you see the perfect orders. Or you also cannot trade just because you see the crosses like gold cross or dead cross on the market. Because when the market is in a range, you might fold by these signals and eventually you will get lost and end up with blowing up your account if you keep trading this way. And you know why? Remember what I said earlier about moving averages for? I said the moving average is to know the trend direction, trend strength and the break even point on the market but not really giving you a concrete trading signals for the entry especially in these cases. In terms of the trend strength, if you take a look at this gold chart again, when the trend is strong and continuous, the candlesticks are up above the moving averages, like prices being up above long term, mid term, and also short term moving averages, you see? The bull trend is strong and steady here. And once the price touches the short term MA, it actually supported and kept its bullish momentum. So in this case, you can use the MA as a possible support line and place buy at the pushbacks. However, when you look for the signal on the crosses, like gold cross or dead cross, unfortunately, you will see lots and lots of fake signals. In fact, based on my past trade experience, gold cross or dead cross signals are the ones that are relatively difficult to trade, especially if you are only focusing on those crosses. But again, basically when you see the two MAs gold cross, that means the market turns into bullish. And when two MAs shows dead cross, the market turns into bearish. And perfect order in three MAs shows the further confirmation on the direction of the market. But remember this. Remember that there are times when these signals are not reliable to take trades. 
So on the next one, on next Monday, I will show you how you can take positions by looking at multiple time frame charts. I will give you the hint. The hint is the direction because that's what moving average tells you and that's what it's good at. Alright, so if you thought this video gave you some new insights about moving average, please press the good button and I will see you on the next one. Stay gold. Cheers.